Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, very curious. I mean, uh, you know, no one should be abandoning a child to begin with. Um, so it's very sad overall. A West Side neighborhood on edge after a shocking discovery today. A toddler found alone wandering in the street. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Schneider. And I'm Dawn Hasbrook. The toddler was found near a school. Police are looking for the parents tonight. Nate Rogers is live. Nate. Yeah, that's right, John and Scott. So many questions remain, as Chicago police tell us. Nearly five hours later, the child has still not been identified. No one has even claimed the child just yet. Also for this neighborhood, many residents say it's bizarre that the child was found roaming right in front of the school. There's been helicopters all over because we work from home, so we've heard quite a lot of noise, but I never once thought... It was something here. I thought it was like something going on on the highway. I'm surprised, like no, no, you know, like nobody saw it happen. Mm. I think that's kind of the most uh, thing because school was in today, yeah. so people, you know, parents pick up kids. Shock and awe here in West Town. A toddler found wandering in the street, left unattended. The fire department was called to the area and says the child is 18 months old. It happened here at 1840 West Ohio Street just before 4 p.m. That's the address for Mansell Talcott Elementary School. Yeah, that's awful. And like I was saying, I feel like there's places where you can leave a baby without questions that, are, you know, where it's safe instead of just abandoning it. I don't know. This is a very, I mean, people walk around here all the time, too, so I'm also a little surprised that someone could just leave a baby and not be noticed by lots of people. Now, police transported the child to Lurie Children's Hospital. We walked the neighborhood seeing if anyone knew or saw anything. The area is very family-oriented with lots of people out and about walking their dogs and enjoying the fall temps. Neighbors were also checking their surveillance cameras to see if they captured any activity involving the child. Now, we did just reach out to Chicago police within the last 10 minutes or so. We're told that the case is likely going to be transferred over to the Department of Children and Family Services. At last check, the child is listed in good condition. We're live on the city's north side. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.